Hi everyone, this is Tuplex. Today we're going to start making high-tech science packs. Uh, so we've got the train stations all named. That's all set up. We've got some sulfuric acid here for the batteries. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so now we're ready to start putting everything together. So uh, looking at the calculator, we're going to need 16.7 machines making science packs. We'll probably just round that up to 18. I like to use even numbers where possible. Uh, we're going to need five machines making batteries and 15.8 need making speed modules. But um, we did decide last time that we'll bring in the modules from the module production area rather than make them here. Um, so, so really the only things that we need to make here are the batteries and, uh, the copper cables we're going to be directly inserting. So, uh, all that being said, let's get started making the batteries. Um, now those only require one iron plate and one copper plate in addition to the acid. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is, is put those up here. Uh, so that they'll be close to the to where the acid is. So let's set that up. Um, and actually, I think I'm going to need some additional room. Hmm. Yeah, I am. Um, okay, that shouldn't be a problem. I think I can move this up by one tile, and that should be enough. Let's pick this up and go up by one. Okay, because what we need is we need two tiles on one side and one tile on the other side. Two, three, four, five. Five is enough, right? Yeah, four and a half. that there. I guess it doesn't matter which side we put it on. This one's fine. Okay. So these will all be batteries. And then I'll just put a straight pipe here along the back. Bring in the acid. There. And that's simple enough. And then we'll just have uh, one chest with the plates coming in, and then we'll have another chest on the output with the battery. And then we can put power poles like so. Um, but then I'm gonna have to get these beacons back here powered up, so maybe I should use substations instead. Yep, we'll do that instead. And then we can put lights here instead of the power poles. Okay, and those need productivity modules, of course, which I need to get out of my train. Okay. And then this beacon will not be required, so we can get rid of that one. All right, now this is going to have a crafting speed of 5.6875 um, with a five second crafting time, so that's going to be a little bit less than one second per battery. Uh oh. Oh, well, that's at the main base. And it's not moving. Okay. I think I ought to go take care of that. I know I have some turrets around there somewhere, but who knows how long it'll be before it wanders into one. So we'll go fix that up. Oh, 
Okay, I'm coming. sure where he came from. Okay, close enough. Why can't I go into my station? Ugh. I screwed that up again. Okay. taken care of. We can go back. Uh, I'll be really happy once I get all the science out of here because this kind of crap is starting to drive me nuts. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's see. I guess I can use this one. Okay, so back to high tech. I have to keep adjusting my chair because I have, my office chair is getting a little bit old and it has like a pneumatic height adjuster. And I think the seals on the piston are worn out because my chair just <laughs> very slowly gets lower and lower over time and I have to sit up and adjust it every once in a while. It's kind of a pain. Okay, let's get back to business here. Um, yeah, a fast inserter should be fine on both sides. And that's going to request 34 of each, which will be enough for several seconds worth. Okay, so that part's done. Oh, uh, I do want to limit these chests as well, so we don't go nuts with the batteries. There we go. Okay, so now we can set up the actual science packs. I'll start by, I'll start the construction down here. Let's see, that's the center, so I'm going to start there and then offset by one. Okay, so this one could be the science packs, and then this one could be the copper cables. Okay. Um, yeah, and what we can do is... Oh, no, we can't do that, can we? Um, okay. I think we can do it like this. No. All right, well, let's start. Let's start here. Here we can request, I know what we can do. We'll just do a, a wooden chest here for the copper cables to go. And actually I'll limit that to two because we're gonna need a high quantity. This requester can handle the request for both of these and then we'll have the output right there. like that. Okay, so I'll put a fast inserter here, and then here I think I'm gonna need a stack inserter, like that. Okay, and then we can put a power pole right there, and we can put a light right there. 
Okay. So that looks good. Uh, let's get this powered up so that we can see, or so that we can set the requester chest. All right, so 330 copper plate is what we're gonna need. Okay. And then we'll copy this. And we need 16.7. Um, <clears throat> so actually, since we're doing this in pairs, we can round that up to 17. 17 machines making science packs. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Do eighteen, nineteen, and then I can get rid of two up here. Actually, let's do three up here and we'll do two down here. Just because the batteries are going to be closer up there. Get rid of that one. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's six, eight, 14, 17. Okay, that looks good. And then we'll just move these rubble ports closer in. Put everything as close together as possible. Okay, and then this also means we'll have extra beacons that we can remove. That one we need. Alright, these three are not necessary. These are not necessary. Those three are not necessary. And neither are those two. And then we'll need extra power there and there. There. Um, and then along this whole row up here. Oh, okay. I didn't really leave myself room for power poles up here, did I? I'm going to have to remove some of these lights. Maybe all the lights. but we can put lights down here. Over on this side, we're fine. Okay, so that whole side's powered up. And then up here, we can get rid of those two. We can get rid of those two. Those three. And that one. And up there, we're fine. Okay, and then a few more power poles down here up here, depending on how you want to look at it. Let's move that closer. There we go. Okay. So it looks like we're all set. And then we need to set these. And uh, we'll just set a thousand. We did it the last one. That looks good. Um, 
Um, I already placed bots in here, so we have 350 bots ready to go. Uh, let's put some turrets in, and then we'll start getting the trains running. So I'll put some extra ones there. I might as well start being a little more generous with the turrets. We're getting close to the end of what we need to build, so I'm sure I have hundreds of turrets available. Might as well make use of them. Okay. I think we're good. All right, so let's head back to the main base. Oh no, we need to we need to set up the modules. So let's go to the module area first <clears throat> and get the speed module set up. We have we have several thousand productivity modules. All right, we got 1.4, 1.3, 1.4. Uh, speed module threes we're not doing quite as well. So what I'd like to do is convert some of this production over to speed module ones. So I think what I'll do is I'll just convert half of the, like all the productivity modules on this side, I'll convert all that over just to make speed module ones. Or, hmm, I'm just thinking maybe what I could do because right now, all the speed module ones are just going into chests. Or they're not going into chests. They're just going on the ground and then getting picked up. Um, maybe I can just put provider chests there. Yeah, I'll put provider chests there, limit those to one stack. So that way we continue to make the module ones. And then the module twos. How could we do this? We could tell this to only to only pull those into the module twos if we have less than a certain number of speed module threes available. Because I don't have a whole lot of speed module threes and I do... Eh. Yeah, I don't know about this. No, I don't think that's... I don't think this is good. I take it back. Because my concern is that when I start making science, then it's just going to slow down the production of my speed modules, and that's going to slow down my ability to, to build up the rest of the base. So I really want 
the Speed Module 3 is to be prioritized over the science right now. Once I have the rest of the base built up, you know, what I'm talking about is all the all the furnaces and the smelting and the circuits that I need to multiply a few times. Um, I want to make sure that that's prioritized. So I, I think I will just go back to what I read originally stated and we'll just set all this up to make speed module once. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and change the recipes here. These will all be speed module ones. I'm going to have to reconfigure the all the chests, I think. Yeah, so let's let's pick up provider chests, requester chests, yellow inserters, blue inserters and red inserters. And I'll relay all of that out again. And I'm going to pick up a bunch of circuits that I don't want to hold on to necessarily. Okay, let's pick all these modules up off the ground. Oops. Okay. Um, put down a storage chest them to put all that stuff all right and then all these productivity module ones that I picked up uh, we can just manually insert here in these machines and then the speed module ones I'll hold on to for now all right and we'll put speed module ones over here and I'll just have these request a thousand each. So I'm thinking that the train for modules will just have one car. Um, and I'm probably going to have to create a passenger station somewhere else for me to use. Uh, this chest is full right now, though, so it's okay if I put inserters here. Nothing will get inserted anyway. All right, and then we'll let the bots distribute all those modules into chests. Okay, so let's just set up the requester chests for all of these. All right, and we've seen this done before. Nothing big here. 187, we'll double that. Uh, we'll say 180 of each. Uh, and then fast inserters. that to a single stack. And then we'll just duplicate that. And then we'll pick that one up. Why didn't this one work? Maybe it's because that light was in the way. Yeah. And same here. Get that light out of the way. Okay. Alright, so let's look at our production numbers for speed module ones. We're making 260 a minute. And that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Let me check my factorial calculator here real quick. 14, I've got speed module threes. Plus the beacons. Yeah, that's more than enough. Uh, the calculator says I need 11.3. 8, 10, 12, 14. Yeah, so we'll be good there. Okay, uh, so now we just need to get the trains set up and get everything running. So uh, we'll head back to the main base. 
Uh, we're already out of time, so what I'll do is I'll get the trains set up in between episodes. And then at the beginning of the next episode, uh, we can take a look and check and make sure everything's running properly. And then we'll start to set up our lab outpost. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. See you next time. Bye-bye.